Hello viewers and welcome to my channel. Have you checked your gas tank for inside rusting? This rusting is common in every gas tank. When this rusting increases gas tank starts leaking from these sides and needs to be replaced. Today I will be cleaning rust from this Honda CG125 motorcycle gas tank that is only 9 months used and then painting inside of it with a paint that will not be corroded by gas or petrol. First we will remove rust from the tank by electrolysis. There are a number of different ways to clean the rust but we are using electrolysis because it's safe, cheap and less time is required to complete the process. Also it has no harm to the outside paint. So let's start the process. First I am filling the tank with tap water adding half cup of battery acid or sulfuric acid to make water electrolyte. If you don't have battery acid you may add 2 spoon full of table salt. While pouring the acid I am caring not to spell any of it on the outside paint, which will damage the paint. Then fill the tank up to the top. I have have shaped these steel rods so that do not touch with the tank metal surface. I have made this plastic cap that perfectly fits to the tank's mouth. To hold these rods suspended in the solution. I have made tight holes in the plastic cap so that it keeps the rods suspended in the electrolyte. Here I need to make sure that the steel rods are suspended in the electrolyte solution and they are not touching the tank metal. So that current passes through electrolyte solution. I am binding the steel rods together with the help of copper wire. So that both the rods receives equal amount of current. Now I need 12 volt DC current source. For which I have used 12 volt solar panels. You can use 12 volt DC battery charger as well. I will connect positive wire to these metal rods. And negative wire to the tank's body. I have also made a hole in the cap to check the process of electrolysis. Now I only need to check it after some time. Meanwhile I can do other work. As you can see small bubbles are popping up which indicates that the process of electrolysis is started. I will let the process to run for about 4 hours. As you can see the rust is already started to accumulate on metal rods. This is what it looks like after 3 hours. And this the final result after 4 hours. All the rust is dissolved in the electrolyte solution. Now I am disconnecting the wires as the process is completed. This is how the steel rods looks after electrolysis. They have got all the rust from the tank. As the process is completed, I am draining the solution as well thoroughly shaking the tank so that the dirt is drained out of the tank. You can see how the clean water got dirty and how much dirt is coming out. It means that every corner of the tank is cleaned up.
After the tank is emptied, I poured some clean water and shake the tank to clean any leftover dirt in it. This is how it looks like. As you can see all the rust is gone and the, the tank is clean now. Now it's time to clean up and dry the tank with cloth. You may use compressed air to dry it. I am using this rod to reach deep into the corners so that all the leftover dirt is cleaned and water is dried up. In the next step I am painting the inside of the tank so that it do not rust. For which I am using paint primer with nitrocellulose formula or NC for short. This also called deco paint. The reason to use this formula is this special formula will not be mixed up with the petrol and will not corrode. I am blocking the petrol valve with a shopper. So that the paint do not spell outside and the valve is not clogged by the paint. And after the paint is dried, I can easily pull out the shopper. Now I am painting the inside of tank, for which I am using paint primer with special formula of nitrocellulose or NC for short. We have already prepared the primer in bottle. This is 10 liter tank so I poured about 100 milliliters into the tank. This step requires a little hard work as, I have to paint every corner of the tank. So I am moving the tank in all directions nice and slow so that paint reaches to every corner of the tank and it gets painted. Now I am blocking the mouth of the tank with the help of tap. This will allow me to move the tank upside down and the upper portion of the tank will be painted as well. Although this is fast drying paint, but since I have used it in a tank and there is little to no airflow passage. The paint will take longer to dry up and if we put the tank at one place the paint will accumulate at one point and dried up. Leaving rest of the tank unpainted. Therefore until the paint is not dried I will repeat the process of moving the tank in all directions after each hour until the paint is dried. This will prevent accumulation and drying up of paint at one point. For fast drying, compressed air can be used to flow from petrol valve side to the top. If needed some more paint can be added for great results. This tank is now painted with a thick layer of paint that will prevent contact between water and metal surface and tank will not be corroded no matter how much water is present in the tank. Thank you for watching this video. Subscribe our channel for more auto-related videos like this.
Share this video with your friends. See you next time goodbye.